What's going on guys? It's Lakota from MYR Mediums and I just finished up a long day at work. It's cold out here in Missouri. Came home to a quiet warm house. Made myself some coffee. Mm. Hazelnut. And I've decided I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna do some artwork. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So grab your pins, your paints, your pencils, and your digits and let's go on an artistic journey. All right, so don't expect too much out of this one. Uh, this is really just brain diarrhea I'm getting out on paper so that I can get the creative juices flowing. Uh, I usually start with a couple little sketches before I start on anything big, just so that, you know, I'm kind of loosened up, got it, I've got everything flowing correctly. Um, as most of you have probably noticed, the Mickey Mouse ears are a recurring theme in what I do. I don't know why that started, because I really don't have a thing for Mickey Mouse, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just it's kind of like to me, like this the the Mickey Mouse ears are like a symbol of innocence, and I like that little contrast with my ugly characters. You know, a lot of people have said things like, uh, why, like, why are all of your paintings and stuff and your creatures, they all look so dark and mean and evil and stuff like that. And I've never really looked at it that way. It's always been kind of like, um, I say they're ugly but I know that they have the best intentions. Uh, I really don't think any of them are evil. They've, you know, they're just like people. There's people out there that aren't so pretty, but, you know, they're genuinely nice and that makes them beautiful. So, you know, you never see any of my characters killing, raping, or anything like that. I wouldn't want that. I just like making little ugly guys. So yeah, this is my first sketch of the day. <clears throat> it turned out okay. I really don't. It was all right. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Picking washes. I always, well, not always, but I like to have some washes like done and ready to go. That way I can just choose from them. I don't have to you know, create my wash and then paint. I usually have something nice and dry and ready to go, uh, which is different than a lot of people do with watercolors. A lot of people try to, uh, um, they, they like getting the paper wet. And I do that sometimes, but most of the time I start with a dry piece of paper, like um, something, like I said, that already has a wash on it. And then I just kind of, go to town. I usually break up the, the wash with just, uh, you know, water and a brush. So as I've said before, I like to, um, you know, I don't, I don't usually start with line work, uh, Sometimes I'll have a pencil sketch down of what I want, um, a pencil sketch put down and pretty well erased, you know, before I start start working on it. And a lot of the times, though, I just start with uh, you know, just a watercolor or gouache. And even, in, actually, in most cases, even acrylic, whenever I'm doing acrylic, I usually don't start with, you know, line work. I'll uh, throw down all the, the watercolor that I want and the basic shape that I want. And I like, you know, I don't, I like my stuff to kind of have a messy look to it anyway. So, you know, the coloring rarely stays inside the lines. Um, you know, and uh, whenever I'm doing watercolor, I, uh, 
I obviously do my line work with pens. I don't like I don't like working on watercolor paper with uh, doing fine line work with a uh, a brush. I, pr I prefer pens and I prefer Faber Castles to most any other paint pens. Um, they uh Oh, they, they work for me. I, I think you get really good uh, deep black colors from the Faber-Castell markers. You know, whenever I sit down and start sketching, a lot of the times I really don't have a planned uh, trajectory like unless I'm working on a really big piece, you know, something that I I have pieces that I have a preconceived idea of where it's going, and then but most of the time when I'm working with watercolors, I don't. Um, I generally just sit down and start splattering stuff. You know, I'll work on uh, five to ten pieces at a time um, of just. You know, my brain going wild. And that's why at some points, kind of like this one, uh, <laughs> I started realizing that this was, this looked like a mutated set of reproductive organs uh, for a female. So, that's not really what I was shooting for, but it's what happened. And apparently my subconscious is showing, but, um... Yeah, this this one may or may not be up on the site uh, whenever I'm done with it. Mmm, charcoal. Shading with charcoal. I think shading with charcoal looks the best. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more depth. Let's see, he got, this is, this is how you know it's raw, man. He got messed up. He got charcoal up all on his forehead or whatever part of his anatomy that is. <laughs> and you can't really take charcoal off too easy. So, but anyway, on to the next one. And I usually start with that basic shape that I usually start with is just a circle or an oval, something like that. Um, I'm going to start breaking it up, though. I'm going to start just throwing down random shapes. There's a, a guy on Instagram that I really like a lot. Uh, his name is Beast Wreck, and he actually started posting up this thing called Shape of the Week here recently, and I'm going to start doing that. I mean, it's just a random, uh, just oddly shaped shape. And you're supposed to fill it in and make it something. Now, I've seen some really talented guys uh, turn this shape into a lot of crazy things. So I think I'm going to start partaking in that. Um, and he's a really good artist too, by the way. Beast Rec, if you have a chance, uh, check out his Instagram. But um, uh, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is what kind of, what materials do you use? What brands and stuff like that? Um and like I said, for my pens, I use Faber Castle, and uh, f you know, for the watercolors and uh, pretty much all my paints, <laughs> I I just use Crayola. Just stuff. I the watercolors I use mostly is just the like um, I think is it a twenty pack of Crayola, uh, washable color, uh, watercolors, you get in the kid's art aisle. I mean, it, it does the job. It's cheap. You don't have to break the bank for your, um, you know, for your art supplies. I, I don't believe you should. You know, it's hard to make money as an artist. And a lot of the times, it, it doesn't really matter how much you spend on your materials because, you know, it, it, if you're good at what you do, you'll make it look good, you know, and I have, you know, nicer stuff. I actually, some of the stuff I have, I know is uh, bigger name brands, but I can't, I couldn't even tell you what 
same brands they are. I'd have to go dig them out. As far as watercolor paper, though, um, I recommend Canson uh, all the time. I, I think they have the best uh, paper for what I do. Uh, it's durable. It doesn't bend too much whenever you get it wet. I like it. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's anything to take away from this video, it's don't break the bank to go you know, get your art supplies. You don't need to. Um, before you start any like big projects or anything like that, do this. Just get your brain diarrhea out. Uh, and sometimes that brain diarrhea is what I call it. These little sketches that have no, you know, trajectory. And you're just sitting down to see. Some of those have been my best sellers. Uh, it's just the sketches I do before, you know, like a commission piece. Uh, I, there's just something so candid and raw about it that people, you know, they like that. So. Quit spending so much money on art supplies and have fun with what you do. Anybody can do art. Art to me is just creating something and having fun doing it. Uh, and, you know, you can sell it. I didn't think you, I did not think that I would be able to sell my stuff, but you can. You just got to put yourself out there. Have fun. Put yourself out there. And I'll see you next time. Hey look, I've got a baby now, and it's daylight, which means this video is over. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.